Today, we're taking a look at a docs email calendar drive experience called Skiff. I actually discovered it a few weeks ago, and today we're going to overview what it is, what it does, and who it's best for in this in-depth review here on Keep Productive. Welcome everyone. If you are brand new here, do subscribe. And also, if you're in the hunt for a productivity tool, head over to Toolfinder, where you will find Skiff and other applications in much more detail. If security is your focus, this application might be an interesting one for you, but we've got loads more on Toolfinder. So yes, yeah, Skiff, an interesting one because I actually discovered it a while ago and the original premise was that I loved the website, but I also liked how privacy was a focus from the start. So very simply, this is an end-to-end -end encrypted email application that also has the ability to create pages and calendar and a drive with the same security focus. So very simple, they have those products and you can basically either access them on iOS, Android, on web or on desktop too, which is not bad for an application. And to be honest, initially the applications were pretty speedy in function and form, which is great news. Now this application wants to be privacy focused. So there's a lot of outlining on the website about how they do this. And there's actually a full white paper on how it actually goes about approaching security privacy. So I'd recommend looking at that before you necessarily jump in. There are many different applications that focus on security and privacy. For example, Standard Notes is a really popular one for those who want secure based notes. Well, this is that sort of approach via email, docs, and naturally calendar. So it's actually one of the first calendar focused applications that I've seen apart from Proton Calendar, which does security focused calendar, which I didn't think was that much of a problem, but naturally it is apparently. So apparently there are 400,000 people using this. And uh, although there are a lot of statements on the website, there's actually sort of a crypto slash web three following of this application. And to be honest, I don't really know that much about that market. Although it does fill me with a bit of scarcity when I see people mention web three. But of course, I think that's just the new nature of a service or product. So let's take a look at what they actually offer. The email experience was actually fairly easy to use. I used it on web. And to be honest, the application was smooth and fast to use. It has some of the basic functions like being able to send email. But the one thing that's slightly different is it approaches email like hey.com in the sense that you get a at skiff.com email address, even with the free plan, which I'll talk about pricing plans later. Sending email was very basic. There's no ads or no tracking, but it was very simple in its structure. There wasn't any advanced features that really go above and beyond, but viewing and sending emails seemed fairly fluid and easy to do with some good foldering and the ability to know that your data is secure in that process. Next up, I took a look at Calendar and Calendar again was very fast and fluid. I found it actually fairly fast to use and I compared it to a more recent fast email calendar application that I used, which was VimCal, and I found it to be pretty much the same speeds, which is great news for finding another application that can do the similar function. You can create events, but the one painful thing is you can't connect to things like Google or Microsoft Outlook because of that security focus. But you can import, I believe, CSVs of your calendar. I think it's CSVs, I'll double check on that, which allows you to bring in events that you may already have. But you can actually create events from scratch and naturally they'll be correlated to your skiff.com account and naturally build it from there. And you can also set up meetings as well, but I don't believe they have traditional conferencing setups. I'm not too sure on Zoom uh, and Teams and things like that, but they do have one through, through Jitsu, which I didn't know about, which is a conferencing software that allows you to connect up to a meeting. I guess their focus here is much more about security and privacy versus connecting to popular applications on the market. Next up, I used Pages and Drive, which sort of go hand in hand. Once I uploaded something to Drive, I could view it on Pages as well. But it's very simple in terms of setup. You can create tables and do all the regular text formatting that you would inside of Notion, but it doesn't go above and beyond when it comes to extensions or really creating databases. So in an essence, you've got a much, I would say equally spaced experience to Google Docs inside of this but obviously with that layer of transparency and security over the top. 
In terms of pages, you're able to customize them a little with icons, page titles, and also naturally some of the text formatting that you'd expect to see in applications. And you can also create templates and uh, really go into a bit more detail in the drive area to be able to store and upload files and organize them into folders as well. So encryption is really the core focus of this application with, I would say, mail and calendar being the core products of this experience. Now, in terms of the pricing, there are some limitations with the free plan, but you do get unlimited pages, which is fairly good to get you going. But naturally, there is a strange pricing because it's actually fairly cheap. If you go for the annual pricing, it's $3 per user per month for the lowest plan and up to $15 per user per month for the enterprise plan, which I think is fairly reasonable for what you get as a workspace experience. And also, the pricing plans aren't hideously bad because they give you good amount of storage to get things going. So if you're looking for something that is fairly lower cost, then this actually is not a bad, secure, focused email experience. If you're a startup, they do have plans for startups allowing you to apply for up to $2,000 of credit for custom domains and one terabyte of storage. And I would recommend looking at the storage plans because there are some limitations in the free plan, just so you know, but you can get started and accessing skiff.com for free, which is actually good because you get to experience the features without having to run into any uh, paywalls initially, at least, which is fairly good. Now, strangely, I was looking into the company and trying to find a little bit more about them. I couldn't find a hideous amount of detail, but they do have a full about page, which outlines what they do, what their vision is, and they're focused on transparency with white papers. And I actually saw an image on their About Us page, which outlined where their offices are. And weirdly, I took a zoom in because I was like, I recognize this place weirdly. And I believe it to be Notion's first office in the mission. I remember visiting in San Francisco in 2019 and visiting the Notion team when they were only 14 people. And this office is where it all happened. So I can remember that in the far left-hand corner of that, uh, that, that office is where Roman used to sit, the art, artist of Notion, and then the development team behind. So it was really weird seeing that this has now been passed over to uh, the, the Skiff team and that they're working on it. But it seems like a good project with a lot of privacy and transparency as their core focus. So that was an overview of Skiff. You can find much more details on Toolfinder if you're looking for any other productivity app, you can jump over on there. But to be honest, an interesting application and something that I think the security and privacy focused folks in mind will probably find a lot of benefit from. And to be honest, combining the likes of mail, calendar, pages, and drive in one location is actually a little bit of a lifesaver. And to be honest, actually having a streamlined experience that has a wide variety of applications on desktop and mobile is actually rare to see from day one. So an interesting bet for Skiff, interesting to see them progress, and interesting to see them optionality for the decentralized focused individuals that want to be able to bring that to life in productivity. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this overview. If you're into more productivity applications or you're looking for them, you can find us over on Keep Productive or hunt over on Tool Finder. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you in a future video. I am very sure of that. Cheerio, folks.